Have you ever walked down the street and had some guy say to you, smile beautiful, or you'd look so pretty if you smiled? Annoying, right? Meanwhile, you're up in your head, minding your own business. You're thinking about your next meeting. You're wondering what's on for dinner tonight. You're plotting your world takeover. It's not that you're unhappy. It's that you have, well, R, B, F. That's right, resting bitchy face. Believe me, clients ask me about this all the time. RBF is the condition where when your face is at rest, you look unhappy, unapproachable, a little mean. And you're just up in your head wondering how the next season of Scandal is going to play out. You're chill on the inside, but on the outside, everyone sees someone who's not very nice. Why? RBF is a normal part of the aging process and starts to happen as we head into our 30s when the face begins to deflate and fall over time. You've heard me talk before about the tired eye look. RBF is a variant of that. Whereas the tired eye look is a result of aging of the mid face, RBF is a result of aging of the lower face. The corners of the mouth begin to turn downward. Lines appear around the chin, marionette lines. Add the under eye tired look, and all of this comes together in an emotional cocktail, which says, I'm angry, even if you're not. The problem with RBF is the R part. It's your resting face. You're not controlling it. You're not thinking about it. Tyra Banks says that we should smize, that is to say, smile with our eyes. But it's hard to bring your top model game 24 seven. But here's what you can do. Number one, Botox. We usually think of the upper face when we think of Botox, but it can be used to great effect in the lower face as well. Botox can be used to treat the DAO muscles, the depressor anguli oris. These are the muscles which pull the corners of the mouth downward. With a little bit of Botox, we can relieve that preferential downward pull and even the corners of the mouth. Now you don't look angry, just chill. This is a procedure for advanced providers only. So make sure yours is experienced. Number two, facial volume. Global replacement of facial volume with a collagen stimulator like Sculptra takes pressure off of the downward corners of the mouth. If that's not enough, you can use a small amount of a filler. But if you're going to get fillers, find someone very conservative. The last thing you want is a joker face. I'm a lot happier. <laughs> Number three, rinse and repeat. Routine maintenance looks more natural than a less frequent, bigger fix. Members of my practice tend to need a little bit more at first, but each follow-up gets easier, we do less, and you don't look done. So there is a solution to RBF. Botox of the lower face, global volume with light fillers as necessary, and don't forget to rinse and repeat. Oh, and Mr. Smile Beautiful, keep ignoring him, and keep plotting that world takeover. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Botox is actually one of the easiest things to get wrong. There's an art and a subtlety to Botox that's about everyone noticing, but no one knowing. That's right, resty bitchy face. Resty? Resty. It's a resty face. so resty. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> Sorry. But ultimately, each follow-up is less, looks more natural, and I just forgot the whole thing. <laughs>